Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV where we learn and experience. We are going to have our um, sec uh, that lesson on biology form 1. Our topic will be on classification 1. Subtopic being uh, taxonomic units of classification. Your tutor will be Mr. Gerard. Welcome. Uh, we are going to have uh, several lesson goals which should be achieved by the end of our lesson. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to list down seven taxonomic units and you identify the, the kingdoms. We are going now to see the seven taxonomic units of classification, whereby the broad taxonomic units of classification is at the kingdom. The kingdom is divided into several phyla, which uh, in plants is known as division. The phylum in plural is the phyla, which is the second grouping. It is sorts out, out organisms based on body, body plan and form. Within a phyla, members are further divided into groups called classes. The basis of a significant variation in the funda fundamental plan is usually in adaptation to several ways of life. Each class is further divided into several groups called orders, using some structural features. Orders are further divided into families, using some structural features, then into genera, sing singular genus. Uh, in a genus, structural features are not easily not noticed by most people since the grouping is based on fairly recent common ancestral features that are less adaptive. Finally, the genus is divided into smaller units called species. Moving down the hierarchy, the number of organisms in each group decreases but the similarities between them increases. Uh, we are going to define the species whereby a uh, species is the smallest unit of classification which has hereditary distinction from that of any other group and all members naturally in the breed to produce fertile offspring. <coughs> For a fertile offspring to be produced, a uh, member should be belong to the same species. Within the members of a minor species, Within the members of a species, minor differences are still exhibited, such as that the differences might include, uh, for example, the skin color in human beings and varieties in uh, plants. As you see, we have got different varieties in, in plants. The groups obtained on the basis of subdivision of a species are termed as varieties, or rather you can call them races. The differences are usually superficial, unlike those which distinguish a, sp a species from an another. These subspecies form additional ranks which may be added to the hierarchy of uh, classification. As we have seen, we have the kingdom. The kingdom is further divided into, into five subunits, whereby the subunits include, we have got kingdom, monera, all members include our uh, bacteria. We also have a uh, kingdom protoctista, whereby our members which belong to this kingdom are the algae. We also have kingdom fungi, whereby the members include the molds, the yeast, and mushroom. We also still have kingdom plantae, whereby uh, these, these are uh, generally the, the plants. An example of the plants can be either the maize, the peas, the garden pea, any plant that uh, you can uh, name. We also have kingdom animalia, whose members are the animals. The animals might include us, uh, human beings, even cows, dungies, bees, any animal that um, you can name. Now we have a diagrammatic representation of the of the five kingdoms that we have we have seen above. The first diagrammatic representation is the kingdom Monera, whereby we have seen the members of Monera are the bacteria. We also have the second uh, kingdom whereby we see the uh, kingdom fungi, whereby we have said the members include the mushroom, the algae, um, but in our diagram, these are representation of the mushroom. The third um, kingdom, we have seen the kingdom animalia, whereby we have said the examples of uh, kingdom animalia are all the animals that you can, you can be able to name, but in my example, I have given an example of a, a lion, which is normally called the king of the jungle. Uh, we have another kingdom, which is kingdom plantae, whereby we have seen that uh, kingdom plantae includes all the plants that you will be able to name, but in our example, we, are, uh, we have the 
maize plant or in biological terms we can call it a z maize uh, we also have kignom protoctista whereby its members include uh, protozoans uh, as you uh, as you can see in our in our diagram um, we have principles of binomial nomenclature whereby i will start by definition of binomial nomenclature as you know by means to so that is to mean the uh, we have got uh, different um, several principles of binomial nomenclature by means to the first uh, principle of binomial nomenclature is that uh, we have got the genus <coughs> genus we have, we have seen it there is the second uh, lowest uh, in the hierarchy the genus name should start with a capital letter when writing any um, scientific um, scientific um, word, the first name is the genus name, and the genus name should start with a capital letter. The second name is represented by the is the species name, and the species name should start with a small letter. Um, as we have seen, biologists have, um, have, have any any uh, biological name should be latinized there are several reasons why biological names names should be latinized a biologist should be given a latinized name for a newly described animal for a newly described animal or plant species where the latin name is missing for example we can have um, for example uh, you, you uh, identify a plant either in any part of the country you can include uh, words like the NZIS, N that is N-S-I-S, at the end of the word, such that it, it becomes Latinized. We also have um, the uh, last rule, whereby the scientific name should be underlined separately. The separate um, underlining, that is the genus name and the species name, they should be underlined separately. You should know, uh, that is when and written, but uh, when... Um, when printed, they can be written in italics. We have got uh, several activities whereby I would like us to look at the we name the five kingdoms used in classification as we have seen. We can also identify the principles of binomial nomenclature. Uh, having done that, we can, uh, for further reference, we can go to our KLB edition, uh, uh, edition of 2017 Secondary uh, Biology Students Book 1, Nairobi, which has been certified by the Kenya Literature Bureau. Uh, for further information, uh, you can conduct, uh, you can send us an SMS through the um, number 22518, or you conduct us through our Facebook page, which is Elimu TV. You can also um, tweet us on at Elimu TV. Uh, underscore Kenya. Thank you for watching and you stay tuned for us to learn together. Thank you.